peeps, it's your boy Heck Steve. Welcome back to the channel. If you hear my air conditioner in the background, that's because it's 82 degrees here in North Carolina, and that's uh that's pretty hot for North Carolina in general uh, during this time of the year. Actually, it's not at all, but it's pretty hot if you're super uh, obese, such as myself. So I'm sorry if you hear that in the background, but I gotta stay cool. We're looking at Collector's Luck today. He put out this video a couple of hours ago called This Box Full of Old Nintendo Stuff is Worth a Fortune. Let's jump in. Last year, I sold a really good friend of mine an N64 and a handful of games and a Super Nintendo and a handful of games. Okay. Uh, she actually just had a baby and she oh, told me that she's kind of hurting for cash since she's out of work. So oh, shit. I agreed to buy the stuff back from her for the She'll same get price that I sold it to her for, which is 300 bucks. It's 300. worth right around $400, but it's not really about the money in this scenario. I'm okay. actually going to kick her an extra 20 bucks. She left it on the porch, and we're headed straight out there to go pick it up. So let's get it. All right, so $400 worth of shit. He's going to give her $300, which is what she uh, originally paid for it. Uh, so he's giving her $300 back, and he's going to give her $20 to help her out. Okay, that's cool. We got good guy collector's luck over here. You know, if it's worth $400, though, and money doesn't matter in this scenario, then why don't you give her $400? guess uh you don't want to be that nice just nice enough to get brownie points from your fans but uh not nice enough to completely lose out okay i understand i understand sir oh he's gonna do the thing where he fucking looks at it okay lay it all out let's make this quick and easy he put the money under the mat he's gonna put it a little bit farther under there all right. I can't, believe you, I can't believe you leave $320 under somebody's mat. About price charted it. I really quick want to show you guys exactly what I got and how much it's worth. But first, I want to give away a game. So let's okay. see. What well, wait, I hold on, hold on. Why don't you give away one of those games? Where are we going? We're here. We've got some wrestling games. Okay. Let's see, I'll give away something for 64, since I got a bunch of 64 stuff. Okay, well, why not one of the 64 games that are over there? Oh, okay, this little $5 game. I'm going to give away Mayhem. As you guys know, I've been giving away games in That's my videos, it? and this video, I'm giving away. Dude, I swear to God, man, this guy refuses to give away a game that's worth more than $15 or $20. That's a $4.99 game. Anybody, anywhere, can go and get that for five bucks at any game store around where they live more than likely because most of the game stores these days use price charting and you know he uses price charting so obviously he knows that it's only worth five bucks you know he wasn't gonna give me that diddy kong racing or that mario kart or you know any of that shit because that stuff's worth too much you know what? i'm gonna try really hard to get him to see this video because i've been making videos on him for like months you know like a couple here or there but, like, dude, you suck, man. Why are you giving people $5 games? Especially, like, when you make hundreds off of your flips plus off of your YouTube views. You know, because you get, you get a pretty good amount of views on your shit. We're also going to dive deep into his eBay page. Decent views. So, I mean, you know, you make a couple hundred bucks a month probably off of your videos. Close to it. Give away a game worth more than $15 or $20. I dare you, man. I fucking dare you to give somebody a game that's worth more than that. Because you won't. Too greedy. Because if you win, you know we're going to have to communicate somehow to coordinate shipping. All right, now let's get into coordinate the recap. Ship. Dude, I bet you he makes the winners pay the shipping, too. We got a lot of really good stuff here. We got the Super Nintendo system with multiple controllers and Donkey Kong 1 and 2. I've said it in a bunch of my videos, and I'll say it again. DK2 is my favorite DK. Uh, Sticker Bush Symphony really hits home for me. Yeah, yeah. And we got an N64. No expansion in it, unfortunately. I always take those out and sell them separately. Yeah, because you're a, a fucking dickhead. You're a goddamn dickhead. You ain't trying to help nobody out, man. You got to get the separate pay for that, man. The titles here. We've got Pokemon Snap, mm -hmm. uh, Diddy Kong Racing, which has a beat-up label. It's got a piece of tape there, so if you try to remove it, that's going to rip it. Oh, it'll be we got okay. got Mortal Kombat Trilogy, which is like a $35 game. Yeah. Mario Give Kart that one away then. Give that one away. Or, which I actually sold a copy of for like 50 bucks recently. And then we got GoldenEye. That's a classic. Everybody loves GoldenEye. Yeah. You can never go wrong with that. Well, they'll give that one away. 
Give that one away. I know you got a bunch of them. Price charting value for all of this stuff comes to 443.51. I paid 320. I explained why earlier in the video, but it's still a pretty good deal. I should be Okay, so you helped her out by giving her an extra 20 bucks, right? And obviously you paid way more than you normally would. You gave her the money that she needed uh, that she originally paid, you know, the 300 and then you added an extra 20. But like you also said that this isn't about the money. So why are you going to make $123 off of this transaction? Explain it. Explain it. Please explain it. That's like, that's like only donating stuff if you know you'll get something in return. You're a video game simp, man. That's what you are. You're a video game simp. Well, really, you're a simp for money, but games are involved. Able to profit like 80 bucks after fees and shipping. And then, so you're going to make $80. Uh, starting, you can see everything is all quality here. The S Super Nintendo system. Okay, look, 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 look. Hold on. Move your fucking Sounds greasy like sausage bucks. finger with, with shitty tattoos on it. Yeah, look. Okay. All of those games were worth more than $20. But he can't give any of those away. He has to give away Mayhem for four ninety nine. You could have at least given away No Mercy or WrestleMania. Those, those games are, you know, some of the top wrestling games. I'm not saying Mayhem's bad, but there's a reason why that game's four ninety nine and the other ones are above that. All right, guys, now I'm over on his eBay page. You know, he puts his link in his video, so it's real easy to get to it. So his uh, handle on eBay is I go bang crash boom. Almost 8,000 items sold. He's got 1,200 followers on here. 100% positive feedback. I'll be damned. You know, well, we, we don't care about the feedback in this video, but I wanted to show you guys this. So we've got, I haven't seen this yet. He just put this up, I guess. $25 shipping. Okay, that seems a little high, if I'm being honest with you, man. You could probably do parcel shipping on that, parcel select, and it, it may be like $15. And he's just saying standard shipping. So I guess, you know, he chose to do a faster. He's going to FedEx it. Why would you FedEx it? Why wouldn't you use USPS, which is cheaper? That seems weird. All right. Samurai Western, you know, $125, no manual, $565 shipping. Dude, the game. Okay, look, I saw the video where he bought this game. I know he only paid, I think, $3 for it, 3 or $5 for it. He's selling it for 125 bucks. So after fees, he's probably going to make, I don't know, $115. You're telling me you couldn't just give someone free shipping on that? Like they've got to pay the shipping too? And they don't even have the manual with it. All right, let's look at this right here. Just a box, $44.99, $15 shipping. What the fuck? So that probably weighs like one or two pounds because it's just cardboard. And you want people to pay you fifteen dollars in shipping? How does it make sense? How much you want shipping for this? Sixteen sixty-five. See, now that seems more on par with it. But dude, it's two hundred and eighty dollars. Like, why wouldn't you just give someone free shipping? Now, you know, bear in mind you can charge people whatever you want for your shipping, but some some of this gets uh, a little unreasonable. Fifty-four dollars in shipping? What the fuck, man? Why? Are you shipping it to Zimbabwe? You're eating ass out of a fucking bowl of soup. That sounds disgusting, but... Look, the box is all shit. You're gonna be sitting on that for a while, bub. Also, why do you have to, like, take pictures of the stuff in your hand? You have a table. Look, you put this on a table. That'd be hard to hold, right? Take a photo of. I don't know, man. That just seems kind of weird. $15.99 shipping on this. $5 shipping? You know that dude's gonna stick it in, like, a little... Pe uh bubble envelope five dollars for that it's probably like four dollars to ship that i mean i know that's not that much but i mean dude like it seems like everything is like that 565 shipping on that guitaru man 300 dollars plus 11 dollars shipping come on dude dude why are you charging people so much to ship stuff it costs four or five bucks man because you get a discount when you ship through ebay there's no reason why that should cost eleven dollars I don't know if he lives like across the street from FedEx and it's just more convenient, but I feel like he'd probably sell more stuff if his uh, shipping charges weren't so expensive, like $8 and then $5 to ship it. Like, dude, 
the shipping cost is more than 50% of like what people are going to pay for this. It doesn't even, it's, it's inconsistent is what I'm trying to say. $12 for this, $5.65 shipping. So like, what the fuck, man? All right, let's see what the most expensive thing is that he's selling. Okay. So we got these right here for six hundo. Twelve forty five shipping. Okay. I guess those hard cases probably weigh a little. I don't know, man. That seems unreasonable for shipping cost. But yeah, look, I mean like doesn't it seem like the master system would go in a similar sized box to this N sixty four, right? But the master system is fifty four thirty three shipping. And the Nintendo 64 is 25. It's half the cost to ship the 64 box. They look like they're almost the same size. You know? I don't know, man. I don't know how this dude prices his stuff. But guys, I think that's going to conclude the video for today. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I make fun of resellers all the time, as well as do a few other things. And I uh, hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Stay cool out there. And I'll catch you in the next video.